Hi guys! Hello! So we get asked a lot at Bandersnatch about binding because we do a lot of crossplay and uh, one of the things is we thought we'd do a quick tutorial about it. First things first, don't use tape. Ever. Please do not use duct tape. Don't use masking. No, masking tape. Please. We want you to keep your skin. Seriously guys. Nipples are sensitive. Your skin as a whole is sensitive. Don't do that to it. The only tape you should ever be using is medical or sport tape. If you use duct tape, it will melt together and become one very nasty, swollen mess. So yes, that, that is our primary Opening thing. tip. Don't. We normally go straight for actual binders because they're more comfy. Uh, you can find them around a lot of places. Uh, Personally, mine and uh, Zant's chief recommendation is Underworks. We love Underworks. Uh, we've got a couple of examples with us because we're prepared and stuff. So, this is That's an mine. Underworks. This is, this, this is Mel's, which is why it's tiny and you can tell it would not go anywhere near me. Uh, it is a triple or double? Double. It's a double reinforced panel. It goes all the way down. You can see it's long, hip, le hip, le hip length. And you've got the double reinforced panel to go on the front, and just regularly to go on the back. Generally with those, you have to step into them and shimmy your way up. Or, this is the tri-top, which is mine, which is very good for people who are cup size D or bigger. Um, so that's triple layer, with the single layer at the front, and it's a crop top type version. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can get them in flesh, white or black, so whatever works best for your costume. Yeah. Um, and you've also can get also ones which are a bit easier to get into, which Velcro. They've got a Velcro opening on the side. Is this Tea Kingdom, this one? This is Tea Kingdom. Sorry, not yeah. Underworks, Tea Kingdom. And uh, that's the one that Mel tends to use a lot. Because it's comfy and I can escape. But that only really works for smaller people. Yeah. This Unfortunately, if you get anywhere bigger, there doesn't really do anything for you. Mm. This is another type of binder that you can get. Um, which is sort of the crop top with this sort of corsety, I can't Hooks remember, and eyes. and eyes at the side. Uh, you have to be very careful when you buy these binders online. Um, this one is a decent, it's a single layer and it has give to it. Whereas some of them that you get don't have give. And obviously that's bad for breathing and whatnot. You have to be very careful. These tend to be the types that you buy on eBay for about five pounds. Don't do that. And they're from Japan or China and they're very bad for you. Um, Honestly guys, spend a decent amount of money on your binder because it will last you for years and it will be worth it. Yeah. I, most of my binders are a good 30, 40 quid. Um, also, one of the recommendations is a uh, sports bra. This is my proper, proper sports bra. Look how high, hardcore and ridiculously huge it is. Um, uh, something that I haven't actually tried, although I'm going to, just to give you an example for this tutorial, yeah. is Ren, Hello. the Guru Ren, recommends wearing a sports bra with a binder over the top. Yes. Just this... to give you some extra compression. <clears throat> That's how I did it. This is my high compression sports bra, uh, which I wear with my underworks Try top, so that's a lot of compression. Um, but I'm a cup size E. Last time I checked, I H depending it, on the store. Yeah, it gets me flat, basically, um, yeah. which is. Give you an example. I am actually wearing a fairly fitted t-shirt for this reason. For that, I actually thought about this when I got up this morning. So, this is what I look like in a fitted top normally. So you can see there is a lot of boob there, frankly. I have a lot of boob. So, see that's the normal sort of thing, this is what I do for a girl costume, obviously. So if I go and uh, put on sports bra and binder and we'll see what the difference is, yes? Okay, this, I've just gone and put sports bra and binder on, as I say I would. So you can see the sheer amount of difference. I'm now basically, I'm not quite flat, the best I can ever manage is truly impressive pecs. Barrel chest. But I am a lot reduced. I look a lot more masculine now. Which is why I can now have a chance of successfully cross playing. 
Uh, personally, I prefer the longer ones because they also take a couple of inches off my hips, which I find mm. makes me look a lot more, lot more masculine. I will say for the long ones, I have a recommendation. Something that I always do. They have a tendency to roll up, which can get really, really irritating. So what I do, simple as, I get the bottom, and I sew a piece of elastic onto one side, and some poppers onto the other. The other side, on the, on the piece of the elastic. And you have to make sure that it's a good, thick piece of plastic, otherwise the thong effect is not fun. But um, you get a little bit of wedgie effect, but it really, really holds down the binder. It makes it much more comfy to wear. You're not going to spend the entire time trying to hit it back down your hips. Mm. So, um, I was going to give you an example of how you can not worry about the binder if you're having to try and do when, like, an open chest mm. cosplay, if you wanted to use a flesh one. Um, I'm not sure how it'll look, however, because my flesh binder is currently still blue from Kurt. So, but uh, if you'll excuse the slight dirtiness, I will quickly go throw on part of my throttle gear, which is what I'm planning on wearing with my flesh binder. Because uh, if you... This is, this, is, this is the figure I work from, because I'm very professional like that. So if you have a look at him, you can see that he's got waistcoat over the top of an open chest thing. So yeah, this is the top half of my throttle cosplay. Uh, which I'm going to wear at some point this year, damn it. And I don't know about you, but looking at the camera, I can't actually tell that much that I've got the flesh binder there. No. It looks like, I mean, it's, it's a slightly, obviously it's a slightly different colour to my skin tone, <coughs> if you have a look there. Could, actually, could you not put makeup but on as well? Could possibly try and dye the binder a little, try and get it closer to my skin tone, but personally I'm quite happy with this. For a Cartian character. Uh, just to make sure that it doesn't slip, I have got just a few pins holding the waistcoat to the binder and the thing down, and the neckerchief down. So you can't see the neckline, yep. can't see the shoulder line. Don't let having a fear of a binder showing a bit put you off cosplay, is what I'm trying to say here. Because, quite frankly, people have bra straps showing, people have other parts showing. Adapt your cosplay to how you feel comfortable. Do it how you want. Have fun with cosplay! <laughs> Be safe when uh, you bind. Be very safe when you bind. Okay, so we've shifted the camera a bit so you can see more of us because that will help. So, body language, um, because we're mostly speaking to girls who want to cosplay for this one, because binder. Uh, remember how you're taught when you're a kid that you must have your legs together and sit up straight? You're a guy, don't. Slouch, legs apart, don't care. It, it, that instantly makes you feel more masculine, just doing it. Uh, walking. When, when you're walking, feel... Uh, Get a sock. Yeah. Boxes. Unpack. It really makes a difference to how you walk, and generally how you feel, just having it there. Because you're adjusting for it. I'll admit, I've never tried it. I but, have. Um, if you don't need a packer, you don't need to invest in that a pair of socks or, you know, a couple of tights rolled together and shoved into a sock. You know, that'll work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, watch men. Watch how they walk. Watch how they stand. Uh, and Try not to be creepy about it. Yeah, no hip popping. <laughs> Mel! And a standing tip. So, <clears throat> I have the hips. I'm going to just take up the whole camera. Don't you worry. Right, so hips. Okay, so what you need to do is sort of clench your hips, like, so this is sort of rolled forwards, so the hips were here, roll forwards, the hips are there, so you just sort of push your stomach and legs forwards a little bit, and it reduces the hip size ever so slightly, but yeah, so it's magical little it kills your abs after a while, I'm just there thrusting towards the camera, <laughs> but yeah. If you have hips, that helps reduce them. And yeah, shoulders will not necessarily... Yeah. Shoulders back increases boobs, so... Roll them forward. Yeah. To be fair, it does depend... Too much. Sometimes it does depend on the character as well. Yeah, so... This is 
where I'm like, hi! <laughs> Look, I'm going to run through, through some tips whilst you get changed. Yeah, I'm going to run through the, 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 the tip of basically, I obviously don't have much boobage. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically a B cup, um, so I can get away with a lot more, hence why I can get away with my velcro -y thing. But also, when I first started cosplaying, as first starting cross-playing, um, I basically used a sports bra and layers, and I can get away with it. Like Santiago, because he's got so many layers, I can actually get away with just a sports bra. <laughs> don't make faces at me. Um, but yes, yeah, so I can get away with it. I don't have much boobage. Um, this is why I was like, you guys do the main part of the video, I will just do the sports bra tip. Yay! So that's something to do as well if you don't want to necessarily invest in a binder. Yeah. Just go, and you're trying it out, go for a sports bra. Yeah, high compression is always best. If you have, again, sort of a D size, anywhere bigger, high compression, or get a sports bra that is a cup size smaller, if you can't find a high compression. Um, layering sports bras also works. But yeah, uh, ace bandages, don't do it. You're not in Mulan, it's not... It's not healthy, it doesn't give you room to breathe. Tea Kingdom are good and Underworks are good because they are made for binding. They are for the purpose of binding. So they know the safety risks, they know to the make it breathable. Made. Yeah. Whereas ace bandages are not for your chest, they're for injuries and you know, you need to be careful. You can cause a lot of damage. You can damage your ribs, you can damage blood vessels, muscles, lungs. It's not worth it, um, so yeah, be careful, um, please. Ah, a tip, tip, never machine wash your binders. Don't machine, no, you should not machine wash a binder. You hand wash it. I don't want to wash the machine all the time. What if you put it in the tumble dryer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are best humans! <laughs> Tip for you guys out there, please don't machine wash or tumble dry your binders. If you have done it in the past, I will forgive you. <laughs> but no, hand washing binders is best. They, if you machine wash, you lose the compression. It stretches them out. With a tumble dry, you should shrink it back. <laughs> Too long for. Yeah. Nine hours maximum. So the tips that are on my binder for washing. Wash cold, line dry. Line dry. No bleach, no ironer, no iron, no softener. Washing tips is right. Hand washing is always best if you are worried, if you've got like a really, really fast spin machine. Um, yeah. I can't believe you've tumble dried your binder. Um, yeah, a tip for getting into binders, the best way, I'm not going to give you an, I'm not going to give you an example, but the best way, way to do is to roll it. So you roll the binder, just come, it's off camera at the moment, but yeah, you roll, you roll, you roll, like so. So you give it a roll, you pop it on, and then you reach for this bit and you just pull it down nice and easy. Because if you don't roll it and you put it on, it gets all bunched and it can get stuck upside down and inside out and it's pain in the backside. We will say that if people actually have some questions about stuff we haven't covered, if you, if you let us know, we can answer them. We're quite willing to answer if you give us questions. Yep. So uh, we're going to stick a link in the uh, description for definitely for Underworks and Tea Kingdom so you guys can go have a look see what you like mm -hmm. so a brief read on all our major tips tape no, no. ace uh, bandages no sports bras yes binders yes and uh, don't be afraid to spend some money it will be worth it in the long run it really will yeah okay all right um thank you for watching we'll see you in later video videos Bye guys!